Hey everyone. Okay, so welcome to the day two of the Money Clarity Challenge. So um, this challenge is for you guys to get clear on the money and the financials, the numbers in your business and how they affect pretty much everything within your business. So once again, um, day two starts with uh, expenditure and this can be a little bit harder than revenue. Hope you guys all did your revenue homework. Um, and we're going to start again with big, deep breath, clear energy. Okay. So remember, I listen to my heart and I know why I'm here. I choose to pursue that dream and invest in myself. Okay, so your money needs clarity. It's the only way you'll get any more, to be honest. Um, you provide a service, your, your client provides a payment, that's an energetic exchange, that's all it is, it's nothing more. So it's nothing to be nervous about, intimidated by, um, or anything really. Okay, so expenditure. What does expenditure mean? So I'm just looking at my notes, so I stay on, on task. Um, expenditure is the expense part of your business. Remember, there's two streams of money in and money out. Those are the two main streams of your business, right? Money in is revenue. Money out is, exp is expenditure. Uh, what a lot of people call expenses, your expenses. Now, within expenses, there's two kind of main streams within expenses. The first is your cost of goods sold, sometimes referred to as COGS, cost of goods sold, COGS. Um, this is the cost for you to provide the product or service that you are selling. So if you're selling candles, it's the wax, the string for the wick, the um, person who makes the candles, their labor, um, the, I don't know, the, whatever it takes to make candles. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Um, so let's say it's cookies. If you're selling cookies, it's the all the product that costs to make the cookies and then it's the person who actually, you know, puts it all together in a bowl, stirs it up. That those person's wages are part of the cogs. Um, the uh, the actual ingredients. Okay, if you were selling a product that you buy, so maybe you have a store and you're selling a dress. It's the dress. It's the um, bag that the dress goes in. Hi, Megan! Yay! Um, it's the it's the bag, or maybe you wrap it in tissue paper. It's the tissue paper. Um, these are the things that go into your the cost of that actual product. Um, if you, hi Joy, oh, yay! If you are a sir, if you're providing a service. Um, it's a little bit different. A lot of people who provide services feel like they don't have a cost of goods sold, but you do. You really do. Um, well, your time basically is your cost of goods sold. However, if, uh, if you had to, um, have a certification to do your service, then that's your, that's your cost of goods sold. You have to kind of, there's a different calculation for figuring out what it actually is, but, um, service industries are a little bit, uh, kind of technically more profitable than uh, product industries, but, um, they all have a cost of goods sold. So that's the one stream you need to remember. The other stream under expenditure is kind of all lumped together as general and administration. Amsterdam. Oh my God. 
Amsterdam's amazing. I lived in Amsterdam. Okay, I'm totally off topic. Okay, back to here. Um, uh, um, where was I? Oh my God, general administration. So general administration, what does that include? That includes pretty much everything else. So rent, utilities, tele printing, uh, bank charges, office supplies, um, yes, figuring out cost of goods ser sold for services is confusing, Joy, I agree, but we'll go into that in more detail. Um, general in administration, sorry, I'm easily distracted. Squirrel, oh God. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty much everything else, all the things that go into your overhead, any advertising you do, um, these all come under general administration. They can break down into other categories, um, but the kind of the big ones are the conks and the um, general and admin. Okay, so what you guys are going to do today um, when I post the PDF is you're going to list out anything to do with your cogs and you're gonna list out anything to do with your general administration. So the best way to do this is to print off your bank statement, print off your credit card statement for the month of September. And then if you have a business account um, and you keep it very separate, then that's really easy. It'll all be there. If you don't, if you operate everything, you're a sole proprietor and you operate everything through your personal bank account, um, uh, then you are going to have to highlight things that relate to um, your your business, right? Compared to your personal life, things like meals and sorry, meals, travel, those kind of things, they are part of general and admin. Um, they're not necessarily part of your overhead, but they do make up your expenses. And what I want you guys to do is to list everything that you spent money on for your business in September. Like, let's get really, really clear, really clear about September. What did it look like, right? And don't be afraid, okay? Sometimes people are like, oh, I don't, I don't wanna put it all out there because like, hmm, was it business? I don't know. Like, seriously, was it business? If it was, just write it down. It's not a big deal. So let's do that. Let's go through the statements, um, print off the PDF, go through the statements, write everything down. One hidden place that people often forget uh, that they spend money on is um, memberships, subscriptions, those kind of things, right? So maybe you belong to a membership site and you forgot you belong to it. Um, the other thing that, I don't know, maybe it's part of your business is a charitable donation that comes out every month that you've totally forgotten about. Um, and not saying you don't need to do these things, but let's, let's kind of put them all out on the table and let's look at them. Because then you can decide if they are truly valuable to your business and you need them right now. And some things you may have outgrown. I realized this past month that I have outgrown two membership sites that I belong to. So I um, stopped those and I felt kind of awkward about it, but it was like, okay, you know what? I'm out. Peace out. Peace out. Um, and uh, so it's like a hundred dollars. Where can I spend that hundred dollars? Right? So there's actually another, um, yes, I know, Lori Joy, I am a course whore just like you. Um, <laughs> I think we need a meeting. Um, but uh, I can, there, there is one other area that I want to invest in, in my business. And so I'm going to put that money towards that and invest in somebody who does it really well and uh, will help me with that. So let's look at some questions. Um, Megan, oh joy. Okay, joy, figuring out cost of goods for services is so confusing. 
it can be confusing. Um, and you, you may not have a cost of goods sold. Like, you may not. But um, it may all fa fall under general and admin. And on day five, we're going to be talking about your break-even point. And that rolls up into that really nicely. Um, because there, there are costs involved in your business that maybe you... Um, like, they're absolutely necessary, but you don't consider them exactly a cost of goods sold, right? So there's a difference between overhead or break-even expenses and cost of goods sold. If you absolutely had to have a certification to do something, you know, like, I don't know, some kind of special course or something that you wanted to teach, um, then, yeah, like, an example would be... Um, Danielle Laporte's desire map. If you wanted to be a desire map facilitator, the desire map training and membership part of it is per, is your cost of goods sold, okay? Um, but your coach, just coaching you along in your business is not your cost of goods sold. That's not, doesn't directly relate. I saw another question here. Megan, one of my business expenses in service-based biz is professional development is that a cause no it's not a cogs unless like I just said it relates directly to the service you're providing um, it's it is absolutely an expense and it forms part of your break-even um, expenses and so we'll be talking about that in day five day five is exciting because it talks about break-even and that is something that not a lot of people um, think of so where are we? Memberships. <laughs> Laurie, you make me laugh. Um, right. Like, seriously, when you have that list of expenses, you'll be able to go, what the f hell was I thinking doing that? Or I don't need that anymore. I'm never, I'm never there. It's like that gym membership that you got and maybe you don't use so much anymore. Get the fuck out. Like seriously, get rid of it, cut it off. It's time to move on, go do yoga or something, right? Like seriously, um, really. So Lori asked, what would coaching go under? Um, coaching would go under your general and admin. So it's general education that you're doing for your business, right? Um, I love all the little thumbs up things. Um, Coaching is a is a absolutely a vital expense, but it comes under general and admin, unless it specifically relates to a program that you're rolling out. Ah, uh, Lori can't wait to dig in. Oh yeah, lady, I want to see your homework. Um, money leaks are val they are very real, uh, and they um, can cause you a lot of distress. <laughs> The other thing you might realize is that, um, you know, by, I don't know, a lot of people don't like looking at their credit card statement or their bank statement, um, but that's part of a money block, which we're going to talk about tomorrow. Um, I think it's tomorrow or day four. And uh, you need to look at these things. Like, seriously, it's part of your business. It's part of your job as a business owner. Like, stop being a, a non involved business owner like your business involves more than just going and doing your thing right or going and selling your stuff or you know doing a course or you know being on Facebook live like me right now or whatever right like it just it involves more than that um, if you really want to create your life and have your business support the life you want to lead then you have to get clear on your numbers. And your numbers means your money, okay? So download the PDF, I'll upload it in a minute. Um, it's ringing. Um, do those numbers and then we'll have a number at the bottom of the page which shows what your expenses are for the month of September. Okay, so I will check in here throughout the day, a couple times a day. If you have questions, ask them on this thread. If you have, um, like, 
you're freaking out or you're like, ah, my God, I don't know what to do. Um, and, and we can talk about it. Siska, I'm going to message you because like I used to live in Amsterdam, so it would be amazing to connect with you. Um, but, uh, uh, develop a social business and services based on sustainability is an issue here. Sustainability, um, is a hot word right now. And, um, it's always been there. Your business has to be sustainable. Every business does. So yay. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Cause nobody wants to sit here and listen to me talk, um, for all day, even though I could, and you know, we're all friends and we'd love to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess I better get, um, onto work and get you your PDF. So I will check in here a couple of times uh, today and, um, I can answer your questions. You can pick, like, seriously, my brain is yours right now. It's yours. It's all yours. So every bit of knowledge I have, um, I will pass on to you. Absolutely. I am here to answer you and be of service. So yay. Talk to you later. Have a great day.